Marcy Alinejad, uh, who joins us now from New York. Um, I understand that you've been able to talk to the family of, of one of those schoolgirls who's been uh, affected. Just maybe tell us a little bit about what you know of what has happened. Um, I've been speaking to the family members of the students who were the target of chemical attack. They're really concerned. You know, they feel numb in their legs, uh, nauseous. They, uh, they are angry, more important than health. They're really angry and frustrated because the Iranian regime promised them to do an investigation, but they've been told by school principals that the, ca the CC camera uh, were turned off the day that they were under chemical attack. So that is why they want the rest of the world to be their voice and they need an outside or organization to, the, uh, to do an open investigation about the case. Yes, and given that we are told there have been further attacks today uh, on top of those we've already been reporting, is there a sense that there is any sort of protection for these girls in school right now? Not at all. Not at all. Look, this is not new. School girls are being the target of the Islamic Republic for almost three months. And uh, the series of chemical attack on school girls happened first in the city of Rome. Now, tens of cities are being the target and more than 1,000 students are being hospitalized. The Iranian regime, actually, the Minister of uh, Education said that we are going to investigate in this case, in this tragedy, but the people, the parents that I have been talking to them, they say that we don't trust them. Some of the students actually were the target of chemical attack. They didn't even want to accept the offer to go to the ambulance because they were saying that if we go to the ambulance, if we go to the hospital, we might get killed. That shows you that the trust is over between the school girls and the, 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 the principal, the government. Many people believe that the Islamic Republic itself is behind this attack because this is a revenge against the brave girls who removed their hijab and protested against the Islamic Republic right after the brutal death of Mahsa Amini. This is exactly what Taliban uh, 10 years ago did to the women and girls in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. This is what Boko Haram did to, uh, to its girls and now the Islamic Republic is doing the same thing. Um, Marcy, it's good to have your thoughts. Thank you for being with us. As uh, a busy afternoon, time is against us, but thank you for joining us there live from New York. Uh, stay with us for the next edition.